Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. Whether it's artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep learning in neural networks, since you mentioned human brain, I'm guessing you're referring more about neural networks because we have neurons and we have neural networks which are out there. It, was it inspired by that? The answer is absolutely a yes, right? But today what neural network has become and what and how the brain actually works, which by the way, almost nobody truly understands right if you want i'm happy to double click there also because uh, because because when you think about the human brain also there are different ways of looking at that the first and the most obvious way when you talk about brain and intelligence for example right is what the oxford dictionary will tell you what is intelligence according to oxford dictionary the ability to absorb and apply knowledge mm. That's the definition that Oxford Dictionary gives you, which in my mind is the lamest explanation that you can give to the word intelligence. You come one level higher, you get what, say, Alan Turing, the father of, he wrote this amazing paper uh, called Can Machines Think, right? And, and, and this was basically machines and intelligence. And he opens that paper by saying that can machines think? And he actually made this thing called the imitation game where he had this Turing test where he goes ahead and basically says that, look, the day a machine can replicate a human. So suppose Ranveer is sitting there. I'm here as a human and here is a computer and you don't know who is what? I have blocked that view from you. Every time you ask a question and you get an answer, if you cannot be sure on who's a computer and who's a human, that basically means that I'm able to imitate the other and the day it will happen that more than 70-80% of the times so you will actually decide wrong who's a computer and, who's, and the, the, the computer can mimic or imitate that it is a human being. That is where he said computers could think, which again in my mind is a very shallow way of looking at intelligence, right? If you want to come one step even deeper. One second. So did Chad GBT qualify for that Turing test? No, not only qualify, they crushed it, right? So obviously, and now that test is no longer even spoken about. Like, was it the first time that that test actually got answered? Because I'm sure this must have been developed in theory. This was 1950s, right? But it happened in 2022. Well, it happened way before that. So it's not just Ch chat GPT. What you get to see today is because it's become very popular, right? AI, if you actually go back to AI, neural networks, for example, uh, one of the very popular applications of neural networks and uh, NLP was actually in the 1980s and 1990s where people were using NLP to very simply click a picture of a checkbook and see what is the amount which is mentioned out there. When there were postcards which were sent from one place to the other, in order to process thousands of postcards, to know the zip code of what things are, it was very simple to go ahead and do that. What I'm trying to get towards is that, you know, when you talk about natural language processing, when you actually talk about machine learning, it's been around for a while. The change which I'm talking about, that one big moment where everything changed, in fact, generative texts have always been there. They used to be called RNNs, which is recursive neural networks. And it had its own limitations. They changed the game forever with that white paper called Attention is All It Takes, which was basically written by Google and University of Toronto. And these are the people who went ahead and completely fundamentally proposed a different architecture on how you can actually go ahead and design the neural networks and then process the words in a sentence giving weights to the relationship of every word to every other word within the sentence itself. And using that, you actually create a vector graph where you actually put each word and then basically, again, I'm simplifying this, based on the distance of two words, that's how you train the model, you're able to go ahead and provide a generative text which is wow. out there. But again, you, you explained was, deep engineering here. And uh, I mean, you basically explained how sentences are formed. 
perhaps even in a baby's head when a baby learns to speak english the first words you understand are me he she then dog cat three letter words and you go to four letter words eventually in first grade usually they teach you sentence formation yeah what is sentence formation but a combination of the different words you've learned till that point in order to create meaning yeah now that's the school version of it but actually when you're at home and your parents are speaking english you kind of automatically learn to process how to combine words in order to create sentences in order to transfer meaning now this is what a computer is doing no and this is exactly where i'm trying to get towards okay right this is exactly the seduction of because i can speak good english it is not implied that i am an intelligent person mm. the seduction is when you meet somebody who's well dressed can speak and has a command on language you automatically imply that the intelligence of the person is pretty damn high so because you have wired to think like that you're saying computers were able to create sentences for a very long time but there was a eureka moment there was a eureka moment for sure and there have been not one but multiple eureka moments okay. right however the limitation of what you just mentioned right of how a kid can take letters and then make words and then understand the cognitive meaning of each one of them and then produce that with intent with curiosity none of that actually happens in chat gpt so what i'm trying to get towards it and when we we started by me telling you how bad it can be with gpt or ai where you don't need to be an ai engineer to be able to use ai for bad but i'm now going to tell you the positive side of it to what you just mentioned right we unfortunately because if i get you a robot which looks like a human and can talk like a human we are biased to think that they are an intelligent being like humans mm. chat gpt is none of that chat gpt doesn't have and this is the problem that i have personally with the word artificial intelligence the moment you bucket all of intelligence into what gpt or neural networks do today what you are doing is unfortunately and probably unconsciously you are basically eliminating the possibility of what is true intelligence for example your brain right is not just glorified version of what you've read all your life there is so much more that you create as creativity remember we were talking about definitions of intelligence we spoke about the oxford dictionary definition mm. we came to the alan turing definition which is out there if you go one step higher and you look at uh if you look at freud's definition of intelligence and it's very funny that he actually doesn't directly define intelligence what he says is the way the mind is constituted and he was very big about conscious subconscious and unconscious mind and the unconscious is the largest part of the brain which is out there and he says that the states of the mind is what dictates your intelligence right so that is that which is a way better explanation of intelligence you want to go one step even higher than that look at how patanjali defines intelligence you know patanjali the god of you know yoga he had he has these four books i know everybody does yoga it's very unfortunately that they they they've not read the books but there are four volumes of something called the yoga sutras and by the way those four books are not about funny poses it's all about the mind because according to patanjali the meaning of yoga is the cessation of mind and then he goes ahead and defines what mind is all about he says there are five parameters the reason i'm using air quotes here is because i don't think there's a good word in english to actually define what he says but for simplicity's sake i'll call it five parameters of the mind the first two are slightly more controversial but the third the 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 last three which will be very easily understood which i think is a very easy mapping to 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 what we know in in english is uh, he says number one is intelligence sorry imagination the second he says sleep and the third is memory so he says that between imagination sleep and memory are the three parts out of the five parts that he defines so what chat gpt does 
is a smaller version of imagination and memory. There are no mentions of the others. And again, I'm, the reason I'm giving you examples of all of these people, because if you think about what truly ChatGPT is, it's a glorified form of compressing all the information which is out there into these parameter files with weights that you apply based on the training that you've done. And based on the training that you've done there and the parameters you've applied, it basically goes ahead and does a V lookup. In other words, it does a lookup if you have a big Excel sheet, right? You want to look up a particular data in a particular row or a column, it will do a very smart V lookup and give you where and how things are. For example, it's very unfortunate, but the way I'm again super simplifying this, right? When I said parameters, 70 billion parameters, 170 billion parameters, what are these? These are basically every word that you can think of. They are placed on a multi dimensional. Uh, I'm simplifying it because I don't want to make this super complicated, but they are stored on a multi dimensional, uh, you know, coordinate system. For simplicity's sake, imagine there are only two dimensions, X and Y. So what happens is, imagine if the English dictionary has 20,000 words. Based on every single training for every line that has been written on the internet, it will say every time the word Ranveer was there, the, po the word podcast was almost always there. So there is a weight, there is an attention between these two words which are very close to each other. So in the space, I'm simplifying it to make it two-dimensional, it will store a coordinate called Ranveer and it will store a coordinate called Podcast, right? And then all the training that you will keep giving, it just keeps throwing all the numbers in. In other words, the actual, you know, words. It's actually not words. You convert that into numbers. But again, we don't have to get into like super technical details. So it is storing every word as a coordinate on that particular graph. And then every time you train it with more data, it goes ahead and then looks at the relationship between the attention weights, it's called the attention weights, between these two points or what you're prompting, and then it gets you something which is the closest attention for that particular word with some other word which is out there. Chat GPT is not creating things which are coming out of intelligence. And again, this will go back to what is the meaning of intelligence? And let's define that. If you want, I'm happy to double click there. But that's what I said, that if you go into all of these things and put things together, you will see that what is coming out from there is a dimension of intelligence. It is definitely intelligence, but it's, a, it's, like, it's like you seeing a black and white movie and saying, this is all there is to experience in life. That's it. You want to see the sunset? You want to see, actually be there on a beach and experience something? No. See a black and white movie and just call it, this is all that there is to experience. It's, it's not a very smart way of looking at it. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.